here in this question as we can we can see that the interval is not continuous since uh, the first interval is 50 to 52 and the second interval is 53 to 55 so there is a gap of one so we had to add the upper limit or i can say new upper limit equals to upper limit plus 1 by 2 half of the gap and uh, we had to subtracted to be subtract, sub, subtracted the lower limit by half so i can say lower limit new equals to lower limit minus 1 by 2 i am doing this to make the interval make the interval uh, continuous since uh, now there is a gap of one in intervals so if i do this i'll get upper limit plus 1 by 2 and lower limit will be lower limit minus 1 by 2 so 50 minus 1 by 2 i can write the first column is for number of mangoes in interval form so i can write it as lower limit will be now lower limit minus 1 by 2 so it will be 49.5 to 52.5 and 52.5 to 55.5 similarly 55.5 to 58.5 and 58.5 to 61.5 61.5 .5, 61 to 64.5 so xi now i can calculate xi xi is given by upper limit plus lower limit by 2 or i can say average of the interval so it will be 51 here it will be 54 similarly 57 60 63 now number of boxes number of boxes can be considered the fi the frequency so corresponding frequency will be 15 110 135 115 and 25 so in i'm using the step deviation method to solve to calculate the mean so i need to calculate fi which di which is xi minus a di is the deviation of each xi so uh, where a is the assumed mean assumed mean can be chosen from the xi and uh, uh, i'm here i'm choosing the value 57 you can choose among all value of xi so if i choose as assumed mean 57 then the deviation from the assumed mean for each xi will be 51 minus 57 value of a is 57 so 51 minus 57 minus 6 here minus 3 and here 0 3 and 6 and uh, now i need to calculate ui ui is given by di by h where h is the interval or it can be it can be said uh, by class in class size so class size is nothing but the interval 52.5 minus 49.5 so value of h is 3 so here the next column is for ui ui is di by h 
So h is three. So minus six by three, minus two, minus one, zero, three by three, one, six by three, two. Now the next column is for f i into u i. Here f i column of f i is here and here is the column of u i. So fifteen into minus two minus thirty, one hundred. So one hundred into minus one, one hundred ten into minus one will be minus one hundred ten. One thirty five into zero zero, and one hundred fifteen into one will be one hundred fifteen and twenty five into two, which is fifty. So now we have summation of f i. And summation of I can calculate some summation of f i and summation of f i, and the mean is given by a plus summation f i u i by summation f i into h, where a is the assumed mean and h is the class size, which is three in this question. See here, summation f i is four hundred and summation f i u i is twenty five. So Assumed mean is fifty seven, so fifty seven plus twenty five by four hundred into h is three. So from here I can write fifty seven plus seventy five by four hundred, which is one by sixteen times. So mean will be fifty seven plus one by sixteen. So I can say fifty. Fifty-seven plus it will be zero point one eight seven five. One eight seven five. This will be our answer.